International bout here at the Royal Combat League. And Neil Angerville from France, who is the French champion. Travelling to the UK. And then when you get here, one of the girls you do not want to face is Christy Berrington. She's current bantamweight Raw champion and the UK number one. Fantastic fighter with fantastic abilities fight match at 57 kilograms every time we watch Christy Berrington Alex she answers the question that's why she's the bantamweight world champion Danny she's even stepping up her weight to featherweight here to fight an Angerville from France who is world renowned and a very very tough opponent this should be a great fight Danny I don't know many bad fighters from France at the moment they are fluent in Muay Thai as they say and uh, Christy Berent will have a test here. This girl's fought Benice Allardyce from England as well. And for me, is one of the best girl fighters we've produced. So she'll know what it's like to come to it. Knee in the leg of Berrington there and then going up to the body. Great exchanging clinch there, but Berrington's so strong, isn't she? I was just going to say, you can see the strength in, in the left hand as she as she holds the back of uh, Anel Angerville's head. The power in it, uh, Anel was really struggling to move her, so she started kneeing the legs. I think if the fight ends up in clinch, Christy, Christy could actually stop, stop Anel early. She, she's a real like, master of the clinch. I've seen her do it numerous occasions. When you actually look at Brerington's game, there's, there's not a lot missing from it, is there? She fights well on the outside. She moves in good angles, she clinches well. She can be spiteful with an elbow when she wants to be. And if she's in the mood, she'll hurt you, won't she, Alex? She will, she's a dangerous fighter. She's not shy to stopping people. If she sees an opening, she'll take it. She, she really is the full package when it comes to a female Muay Thai fighter. I don't think there's any girls of 55 kilo in the world, let alone the UK, that would be Christy right now. Well, international bout on her CV after today. How it finishes, we will find out. She has a game opponent who looks very composed with her here. He lands a good couple of body kicks there, in fact. And then gets the inside of the clinch. But even though she's on the inside, the strength, like you said before, of the left arm of Christie, she's controlling her there, isn't she? Yeah, she's getting that elbow in. That's what she needs to do. She needs to really dig those elbows in and, and make sure she's got enough space to get the knees off, which is exactly what she's doing. I think this was the only way to get Christie a fair match. Danny was to actually make her step up her weight because I don't think there's any anyone left for the 55. Well, there's, there's one or two names to get on about regularly, but, you know, I don't think there's anyone around really so I think maybe Featherweight could be the answer maybe she'll be a Royal Combat 2 weight world champion the first one. Oh that is it that's that's where she can go and uh tell you what it's a credit to you when you can't get fights. Well Christy exchanging early with her here and it's been well matched at the moment hasn't it she's she's well in there at the moment and Clinching well with Christy, but Christy's strong in her hands as she holds her there and keeps her on the ropes and lands a knee. Keeping her in her own corner as well. But not phased at all, Angerville, is she? No, she's not. I'll tell you what, she come out strong there. That was an absolute belt of a low kick. She had Christy with early on in that round and it moved Christy about three feet across the lane. So you can see the you know, Anel Angerville has come to fight, she's come to win and she's come to make a name for herself here on Raw Combat. Getting held very low in the clinch there, and that's a domination there from Barrington. I'll tell you what, we said it before, didn't we? It, it, the clinch is, is where she looks strong in this fight. Zangerville looks very strong on the outside. Look at that knee, absolutely spiked that into Barrington there, and shows you how tough she is because she's spiteful with her shots, Zangerville. Looks like a very good competitor here. Christy Barrington has her work cut out, believe me. Yeah, you can see Sean Bowen there looking very closely at the clinch. I think it's really well matched on the outside and in the clinch. I don't think there's a lot between these two girls. So 
I think in the later rounds it could, you know, could be um, a battle of who's the fittest. Lights, cameras, action, the whole shebang, it's Raw Combat League. And the girls really light down on this show. We've got Marie McManaman who fights well every time on here and Christy Berenton, household names here and it's hard to get girls who are going to beat them, isn't it? The girls on the Raw Combat League always perform with some really, really well match bouts. All night we've had some fantastic fights here from, from the C-Class to even the juniors earlier on in the day. It's been a fantastic day here at Raw Combat League and the matchmaking from our promoters, Katie and Katie, have been absolutely brilliant. Well, there's the elbow from Angerville. She just managed to get it over the top of the hand there. Look, you can see her hand resting on the arm of Brown and she wants to pull that arm down to get that elbow across. But like we said earlier in the fight, the left hand of Brown is very strong in that clinch. You can see the muscle in her arm as well. And she does use that to protect herself and control her opponents in that position. Berenson looking for the left elbow there, but came out of it and wore two low kicks in return. Angle feels well in this fight, isn't she, Alex? It's a tick for tack at the moment, and I can't really put much between them as she lands a body kick. No, there's nothing between them. It, it, it's so, so well matched. It's a perfectly even fight. I can't split them at the moment. I don't know what the judges are saying, but I, I definitely cannot split these two, two girls at the moment. Well, Brereton again, stronger in the clinch. I think Angerville's a little bit sharper for me at the outside at the moment. She kicks fluently to the body, but look at that knee, even at the end of that exchange and the end of that round. Angerville pushing Christy back early in this round. Comes out of intent, massive low kick. That's third or fourth hard low kick she's landed, isn't it, Alex? Yeah, you noticed that she came out there, she switched to southpaw and she threw a lovely left low kick which went right across both Christy Brereton's legs and it really forced her to the ground. It was a, it was a real powerful low kick. It probably, probably puts her slightly in front as, as, as we go into this round now. Angerville for me, a little bit sharper on the outside. As soon as they're belly to belly, these two girls, I think Brereton's just stronger. And like you, you called it earlier and she does control her with that lead left hand and that's what's stopping Angerville getting any points in the clinch here she tries to elbow over the top she can't get over the top she tries to the inside and she's not landing them there either but Brenton needs to fight on the outside as well I think Alex to take these judges today yeah she does credit to Christy I mean Christy Brother and her conditioning is fantastic she's been fighting from a very young age been fighting professionally from the age of 15 she's She's a phenomenal athlete, took time out to, to, have, a, to have a baby and she's, she's come back and over the last couple of years I've seen her, she's just got herself into absolutely phenomenal condition and you know, she's stepping up her weight, look at the way she's manipulating a heavier fighter, a naturally heavier, stronger fighter and Christie's just manipulating her in the clinch. Yeah, she's always strong, you can always rely on her to give you strength, aggression and composure, which are all the attributes of a fighter of course. Angerville though, looks fit and ready for the later rounds here. And oh, Berenson buries a very deep low kick on her there and kicks her in the back there, which is cool. An unanswered good balance from Berenson. And I'll tell you what, she's up in the gears now and up in her product. Yeah, she's really stepping it up now. She scored a lovely powerful low kick, which really moved Angerville across the ring and then come back with a left body kick and then even when she got her kick caught to defence and her balance was absolutely fantastic. You can see Christy now really biting down on the gum shield and stepping the, stepping the game up to take this fight. Angerville just trying to tie her up in the clinch and pull her in tight so she can't get damaged in there now. She's given up trying to elbow in the clinch when she's tight. She's I think she knows that Brimson is stronger there. <laughs> well, now she's starting to fight well on the outside. I did say earlier, I'd like to see more from Brereton there. And now she's starting to lay it down. Angerville goes hard with the hand. Brereton turns her into the corner. I think you find Christy, the more aggressive and the more the more forward Angerville presses on Christy, I think the, the, the cleverer Christy becomes. She, she's really clever with the shots. As we finish that round there, she knows what she's doing. Well, round four, it's been a really, 
really well poised fight this one and very close very well competed that's what you want with international bouts when you fly someone over you want to see someone who's can really answer the home fighter and that's what's happened here Angerville has come to fight hasn't she Alec yeah you see foreign fighters sometimes they come over or you know they, they get it put on them by an athlete like Christy or one of our stronger fighters and, and sometimes they can crumble but you know this Anel Angerville has come to fight she's really put it on Christy and you know, I think, um, you know, going into round four, it was very even, so I think it's everything to play for as, as we go into the money rounds now, as you call them, Danny. So strong, Christy Brown. She wore a big, big hook to the body there, and she's small in her frame around the midsection, but never seems to cringe or go down when she takes shots there, does she? No, she doesn't. She's in fantastic condition. She's, she, you know, she's, she's, she's got a, a great torso on her in terms of, like, she's, she's ripped up there. You know, she trains hard. You can see her strength and conditioning must be fantastic. So I don't expect her to be getting dropped by those body shots, you know, even though you can see the power and the, the force and was putting into them. But, you know, Christy's wearing them well. Case of spoiling each other as well. You see where they are in the clean chair, and this is where I think Christy's best work's been this fight. You see, and now Angerville's just trying to spoil her in there at times. and. Just get her a little bit tight so she can't get those knees off properly. And then she spoils the leg there, as you can see. On the outside, Christy's spoiling her as well. It's a little bit of nullifying each other's game sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, that was a really good job. I like the way um, I like the way now switches it up, southpaw and orthodox, and she's really effective from both, both stances. But Christy's dealing with it really, really well. Sean Bowling there, our referee, breaking the clinch as Christy uses the push kick and the left body kick. Still under pressure, still coming forward with Anel Angerville. She really has come to fight. A lovely knee in the clinch there. That left arm controlling again, Danny. Left arm uses a defence as well, stops her getting elbow. Angerville wants to elbow her with the right elbow. She's not trying to set that up though, and Christy is too strong in that left hand as well, yep. The referee just. Got an easy game, they're both they're easy game for the ref, isn't it? They're both very clean how they fight these two. And Christy gets a good position there after two two strikes and holds up, uses her weight to push her down. Angerville comes forward, but Brownson for me going through the gears and she's got better and better as the fight's gone on. Yeah, she has, she's really stepped it up this round and I think, you know, coming to the end of round four there, I think I've got Christy ahead. Well, everything to fight for for these two girls. Good start to this round from Angerville. She's very composed through, throughout the whole fight, but when she's aggressive, she's accurate as well. Yeah, she's come out at the start of every round with, with you know, a big lead hand and then a big, big low kick from the back leg, depending on what stance she's from, and it's worked, I think. But then as the round goes on, she seems to fade, and, and Christy sort of takes control and is probably edged the last couple of rounds by doing that. Do you think the Team Chaos are telling Christy to go into the clinch here as a game plan, Alex? Could be. I think either way, whether it's in the clinch or on the outside, she's doing well. I think as Angerville comes in with the boxing, Christy steps back onto her left foot, uh, onto her right foot and, and really spears out a good left body kick under, under the boxing of Angerville. So I think the judges are like that as well. Some good scoring there. Let me tell you one thing, the crowd at Raw Combat League, they love Christy Brewington. They've seen them throughout the series. And she's delivered every time. And here again, I think she is forging her way to a win here as she spears those knees into her French opponent, pushing her back into her own corner. And this is where she wants her. A good knee back from Angerville, and she manages to flip the script and push her back for just momentarily. Brewington comes out of that clinch and the referee hadn't actually split him there. He lets him go because it was active clinch work. Brewington takes the back and a big, big score and elbows the back of the head. But she's entitled to there, Alex. Yeah, you know, she, she took the back well and, and she was entitled to throw that elbow. Lovely control there, uh, brilliant. I think, she, I think she actually pulled that elbow shot and I don't know whether whether she followed through properly but she's completely dominated these last two rounds and if it stays like this I expect 
just need to get a first win on the Raw Combat League as a 57 kilo fighter. Well, this is what the show is all about. The grand finale and Christy Brenton knows all about them because she's delivered so many. And there's a big push kick to the face as well. And if they were going into this round even on any judges scorecard, I think Brenton's answered the question. There's that look at that, two or three left body kicks on the back foot. And not just left body kicks that, you know, are, are, are keeping her away. These are hard left body kicks as she's delivering. Look for the spin and back elbow there. As once again they go into clinch and you can see the lead arm of Christy controlling the clinch as she, she throws the knee in. There's another unanswered knee. I don't see this fight going any other way, do you, Danny? At the moment, Christy Berenson showing some tricks and skills at the end as well. It shows she's got a lot of energy to burn off as well. Both the girls are saying, listen, taking nothing away from Angerville, looks just as fit and strong. It's a close one on the cards anyway, it really is. But I think I know which way it would go on mine. I think both girls, you know, they've got every right to think they won, I think, but when they watch it back, I think they'll know that Christy really should get this right now off our judges. And after five rounds of eight last action, we have a winner by unanimous decision. Fighting out of the red corner.